Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And today we have an oldie, but a goodie to present to you. Be right back. Again, welcome back to the channel. And before we get started, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I know a lot of you have been visiting. I appreciate that. I really, I really, really appreciate it. And continue watching my videos. But subscribe to my channel. Please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I look forward to answering any questions you may have or any suggestions or any comments. Good or bad, doesn't matter. And um, share with your friends and enemies. Really nice. Anyway, so what we're going to talk about today is this. This is the Eagle Industries 3-Day Assault Pack. Now, I had one of these when I first got out of the Army, uh, active duty that is, and I uh, got my hands on a Blackhawk one. And man, that was a good pack. I used it for many, many years. A uh, really nice day pack. It was my, um, my Bob. It was my everything, that pack was. And when my son got into scouting many years later, and of course, many packs later, um, I passed it on to him. And uh, um, since then, I haven't seen it, <laughs> so I'm sure it's still, it's probably in his, in his stuff that is, uh, you know, uh, buried away in all this camping gear and kind of stuff. But this way, this pack right here is a great pack, actually. And this is still the old school model of the pack, actually, because they've made a lot of changes to it in reference to what you see on the front of it. Now, this is not the first generation of this, of this pack. This is the second generation. Um, um, when I say the color, this kind of stuff. Now, I remember uh, John Carver, who was the original guy behind Black, uh, Eagle Industries. Uh, I met him up in uh, Iwa, which is the IWA show in Nuremberg uh, many years ago. And um, uh, he and I discussed the packs and I've been wanting to get my hands on a on one of his packs actually. And he uh, he um, um, told me, yeah, I'll put him, I'll put him aside a pack for you. And then at the end, someone had, it had gone missing at the end of the show and so he wouldn't able to get to me, but he was very kind enough. He sent me two packs <laughs> instead of one, which is really nice in the post from the States. And, uh, um, um, but I'd already moved on sadly to something else, something new. And, uh, um, and I don't have those packs anymore. Uh, one was in multicam and the other was in the, the ACU digital cam. Um, and this right here is actually in foliage green, which is actually, doesn't look too bad. So it's actually a nice looking look on it. Um, and, uh, it's a great little pack. It's not a bad pack. Now, I'm not a fan of all the zippers on it. I've never been a fan of a lot of zippers uh, on a pack, but this one here is probably one of the best made assault packs ever, I would say. You know, it's just such a good assault pack, and it does exactly what you need to do, okay? It's got all the bells and whistles when it comes to, uh, you know, either hydration tubes or, or antennas, this kind of stuff at the top. It's got a really good, um, it's got several pockets on it, actually. You have your a small pocket here at the front, which you can throw some small items in. Uh, the zippers are really good, well-made YKK zippers. You have another pocket here on the top here, which you can get a bunch of gear inside of this right here. And the reinforcements are all, everything's double stitched, actually. If you look, you won't be able to see this, but on the inside, you have a border here on the inside. And these are all double stitched over the actual seam that's been, uh, and it just reinforces all the work that they put into it, okay? Uh, even the zippers are all triple stitched on, you know, because they're, they're stitched on, then there's another double stitching that goes on it. And these are all made with a double uh, needle uh, sewing machine, actually. Um, and then you have the main compartment, which is, now the, the original ones used to have, um, you know, heavy duty zipper pulls on them. These right here have the, the, the easily changeable uh, 550 cord, which is actually quite nice also. And then you have the main compartment right here, which I happen to have a 35 liter dry bag, uh, dry bag inside of it, but you also have a, um, a pocket on the inside for a hydration uh, bladder kit. So, um, but this is a great little pack. And on the inside you have, you know, you have, it's a solid pack. I mean, I, I've never, you know, I sold uh, packs like this right here for many, many years from Blackhawk Industries and some Eagle ones, and I have never, ever had one uh, that's been damaged to a level that had to send it back to the company for repairs, this kind of stuff. And these were guaranteed for life, these packs were, um, when they came out. And I don't know, 
Um, if they still guarantee them for life, not all the companies do that anymore. Uh, but these right here are just well made. On the outside, of course, you have some Velcro here. On the bottom, you have your axe, ice axe holders or, or axe holders, whatever, uh, that you can attach. And on the side, you have some Fastex buckles that you can attach your, your axe up here on the side. Of course, you have compression straps on it. On the front, you have a very simple system. This thing's made with a 1,000 uh, D Cordura, actually. And it's a very comfortable material. These shoulder straps, man, they're just the same stuff. I mean, they're they're reinforced. I mean, you got you can run all your cables through if you need to for communication, your your hydration tubes, this kind of stuff. And you have a chest strap here, of course, which is, like I said, this stuff is just on a higher end quality. Now these are not plastic; these are all in metal, and they've been painted over. Okay, and of course, but the other but the other the fast tech stuff's all in pl high high density plastic, actually. Really good pack, really well made, really super solid. I mean, it's made to, to sort of, if you have a damage like that, you can do something about it to fix it. You know, it's got a lot of little loops on it to attach things. It even has a waist strap, which personally for me, it's a bit useless, but there it is, it has it, okay? You can, and you can take it off. On the bottom, you have a few more attachment straps on the bottom. You can attach something on the bottom of this pack. But, uh, it's about a 30, 35 liter pack, very good quality and it's one that would definitely um, um, do whatever job you have for a day pack, a weekend pack, a salt pack, a bob, go to war pack, all this kind of stuff. This pack will definitely do it. So anyway, there you go. Eagle Industries 3D Salt Pack, highly suggested. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this, except, like I said, it has a lot of zippers on it, which I, I, I'm not a big fan of, but, but it's still a really good pack, actually. And uh, if you have one, hang on to it. It's one of those packs you do not get rid of. If you got two of them, maybe sell the second one. Or, you know, they say three is two, two is one, one is none. So there you go. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Talk to you very soon in the next video. Goodbye.